Hi everyone, welcome to day 7 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analysis and business analysis interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the most common asked interview question. So let's see the question. So the question says how would you identify duplicates entries in a SQL given table. So the table name is employees and the columns are employee ID, name, department and the salary. So let's just go ahead and see the tables. So I am saying select everything from the tables. So in the tables you can see I have employee ID and the name department and the salary so now there are few records which are duplicates like this one and I can see the employee IDs are also duplicates and the names are also duplicates department and the salary everything is basically duplicate right like this is the kind of the original value and this is the duplicates one and for this one employee as well also we have like you know some duplicate records so we need to identify the duplicate records okay so there are two like you know way we can basically solve this problem I'm going to basically give you both the approach that uh, you can basically use to solve this problem and uh, at the end of this video I'm going to basically give you a task so do watch the video till the end and resolve your task and you can basically answer your uh, you know resolutions in the comments and I would uh, personally go through them and let you know if you're correct now before solving any questions in interview or in basically in real life you need to make sure that you understand the data like spend some time understand the data patterns then only you can basically solve the problems like in interview you can ask multiple questions about the data about the columns everything's that's how you kind of you know get some more time to understand the questions a little bit uh, you know more so that's where you basically you know get the right uh, solutions right so it is very important to understand the data so to understand the data you can basically ask multiple questions in the in the interview to the interviewer okay so let's just see so in the table you can see that uh, we have the employee id so employee ids are also duplicate names are also duplicate department and salaries are also duplicate so we can either use by any of the column we can use any of the column to solve this problem or you can use by you know basically all the columns so let's see what the, the approach that basically i can follow here so i can say again same thing which is select everything from the employee table now i can just go ahead and say let me first you know show you the eg approach that you know i can basically use to solve this problem that's going to be using a group by okay so we can say that i want employee id okay i want employee id and i want their count okay i can say count of what count of one that means count of this employee id okay as to tell i can say you know frequency okay so i can say this employee id i'm selecting this employee id and the count of this employee id from the employees table like how many times this employee id is actually appearing in the table right now to do that i need to basically use a group by functions here because i want to see for each employee what is the time they are basically appearing in the tables okay so i need to say group by by this employee id and if i just run this query you will see so now you can see the employee id and their you know kind of appearance like how many times this employee id is actually appearing in this table like in this first one which is employee id 9 it is appearing uh, you know thrice now the second one it is appearing once which is fine the third one it is appearing twice so what do you mean by this appearance okay i can just go ahead and add the name as well also so that you get kind of you know get it more uh, you know understand it more so now as i have added one more categorical column which is the name i need to do a group by by this name as well also so i can say group by employee id and the name okay now let's see oops I just need to remove this comma after the name so now see this employee ID which is a John this is only appearing once that's the frequency you can see the count right now this employee ID Kevin that is also appearing once that's perfect but this employee ID which is by Lisa because basically we are, are we are grouping the data based on their name and ID because we know that names are ID they both are same for each you know ID that's how we say that that is the second one is the duplicate right now this Jane Smith that is appearing twice so I we can say whatever is appearing more than you know kind of one time that record is a duplicate record correct so you can go ahead and add one more condition on this group by clause uh, to say that select only record which is basically appearing more than once that's how we basically identify the duplicates right so you can say it's having so in uh, like if you want to add one more filter on above of group by then you basically use having okay we can say having now having what have we can say having count of this okay greater than one now I can just go ahead and run it now see I only have those a record where the employee is actually appearing more than once you know so these are two records these two records that I can see these are basically duplicate records like this employee you know they are having duplicate records right so that is one approach 
Now let me just go ahead and show you the second approach that you actually can use and that is really the smart way I can say you know solve this uh, you know questions. So that's part of window function that's we call row, row number okay so I would say approach to okay. Now in approach to what you can do is that you can select everything from the table so the table name is employees right. So I can select everything from the tables. Now I'll be getting the table. Now I'll be using a row number to basically kind of create a new column here okay. And then I would basically do a you know ranking from one to basically to the end, and I will do a basically partition by basically by the employee ID or I can do it by the name. Okay, so both they would what they will do basically they will kind of group the data similar data in one group in one partitions like for example the name which is Jen Smith right so Jen Smith they will put in one one partitions and then they will basically give some ranking based on the name like first Jen will get rank one then the second Jen will get basically row number two. And then if there is a third gen that will get basically row number three then we can basically simply filter the data based on the row number so let's see how it works okay so I'm saying row number now row number is part of window functions if you do not know about row number leave a comment I'll be uh, making a video very soon in my SQL 0 to pro series so if you have not subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel for that so we can say row number and you just need to basically give a parenthesis like this way and then you need to basically say something called over so this is the syntax of row number now inside this row number you can basically give uh, you know some order by so order by now you want to first order by this uh, you know kind of data right by let's say we're doing uh, you know partitions by the name so we can say order by by kind of what order by by let's say name okay we're doing an order by by name and we will need to basically do a partition by so before doing a partition let me just show you what this partition does let's just see let's just run this query now let's now see what it actually does okay now what we have simply said comma everything selecting everything comma then we are adding one column by this row number okay I will say as rn okay so this is the column name I have given now if I just simply run it you see it is creating a new column by this rn okay now this column what it is doing it is basically basically first ordering the data based on the name like the name which is starting with a like the uh, you know that is coming on the first and then it is basically giving a row number like one two three so far till the basically last records now see even this name which is lisa so lisa is appearing thrice right this name is getting ranked like five i mean row number five six seven so it's simply basically counting the row and giving a kind of you know row numbers okay now what we want basically is that we want to partitions each similar data in basically in one group then we want to basically give some row number for that group like one two three so similar so each similar group of the data they will be partitions in one group so that's how we can basically use something called partitions partitions by so this is the syntax and then you type the column so we say we want to do a partition by this name column and then if i just this time i run it now see earlier row number was like it was counting from one to the last right which was still seven because we have seven records now if i just run this data you will see now it has simply first done the partitions based on the similar names like the similar names are Jane and Jane they are same right they are same name now this is the first partitions of my data now you can see the first partitions I'm I have given basically row number one and two because there are only two data by in this partitions now if you see second partitions which is basically John now John we only have one John so it is basically giving one row number now, if there are multiple John then the second John will get row number two third John will get row number three so on so on okay now let's see for the Lisa so Lisa is having like three records so the first record is getting a row number one then second record is getting row number two three so now by looking this we can say that we can basically apply this filter and we can say select everything if this row number is greater than one so that will be basically a duplicate records right so to do that we can basically go ahead and basically add a you know where conditions here and we will be basically getting our result now this is not a physical column in our main table which is the employees table because we have created this using a row number correct so to apply a filter using a where condition this column has to exist physically in the table so what you can do is you can basically come out of this query use a sub query select everything from this table then you can basically use this uh, column as a basically uh, you know where filter and then that's where you can basically say where this row number is greater than or equals to basically you know uh, greater than one that's how you get all the duplicate records that you have in the data so we can just go ahead and say select okay now we can just select everything we want everything from this data okay I can even select the specific column but I'm just selecting everything for now so I'm saying select selecting everything 
from this data I'll just remove this end statement here now I can just go ahead and say where right where this row number okay this row number is greater than one okay now see this is a inner query okay so this inner query is going to run first then it's going to kind of create a table like this table okay now this table I can store using alias here as sub query okay now this sub query is basically the table okay and this table has the data of all these things like all this column in this you know a text okay now this outer query which is select everything from basically this table okay it doesn't care whatever it doesn't see whatever we have inside this query it's simply because see whenever we will run this data I mean syntax whenever we will run this SQL query first it is going to execute whatever we have inside this parenthesis because this is the inner query now this is going to generate a table like this table with the row number and everything and this table is going to store in this alias which is sub query now then it will come to the outer query now in outer query we say select everything from this table which is sub query and we're using a uh, you know where filter when we're saying that where rn is greater than one now if you just run it i have all the records where the data is basically greater than one now see jane is appearing here right so this is a duplicate records now lisa is appearing this is also duplicate records they said also a duplicate records so we are only getting now the duplicate records which is appearing more than once okay so now you can follow both the approach okay this approach is also fine this approach is also fine but i feel this approach is more kind of you know practical and so that is it for this video thank you so much guys for watching the video till the end so let me just show you your kind of you know task that i have for today so it says identify the employee details who is appearing more than twice okay now you need to only find the employee details who is appearing more than twice from the employees table now you know that i think that is the lisa which is appearing more than uh, basically twice now basically you need to write a syntax for that how you can find it now if tomorrow somebody asks you okay show me all the customers who has done more than two purchase or more than five purchase so this is kind of similar questions so i'm saying identify the employee who is appearing more than twice so do write down so do write down your approach in the comment sections i would see them and let you know if you're correct if you're stuck i would help you so that you can learn this concept that's it for this video thank you so much guys for watching the video till the end have a good day see you tomorrow